I woke up with leg cramps this morning, and I wake up with leg cramps almost every morning. Not at, not almost every morning, but an awful lot of mornings. And um, I think the reason for that in my case is because I have back issues. I had a double spinal fusion surgery almost a year ago. It'll be a year the end of this month. And um, so I think um, the nerves are recovering and I think that's, uh, and I notice when I do my mobility exercises and my stretching that um, sometimes the muscles will want to cramp and I think it's just because I've had back issues for so long. My first, I'm 55 and my first back surgery was when I was 28. I had three back surgeries. But I started having lower back problems probably when I was around 20. So, you know, most of my adult life I've had back problems. And so I think, you know, now I think the stretching I do, the mobility, my body is, the muscles are just not used to moving into certain positions. So that makes them cramp up. Now, I know a lot of people think that, uh, um, you know, sometimes you, it's a, you need more potassium or magnesium and I've tried all those supplements in the past and I could never notice any difference. I had this one girlfriend once who would insist that I needed, you know, more potassium, more magnesium and I said, nah, I tried that, it doesn't work. And then she said, well, you know, that's why you don't get better, you just won't try anything and it's like, whatever. She, did, she wasn't around very long, she started driving me crazy, so. <laughs> I try a lot of things. I know what works and what doesn't work. When you're in chronic pain, you know, everybody wants to help, but, you know, the stuff that people are uh, trying to help you with, um, their ideas usually don't help. Like in my case, I have smashed nerves. I had smashed nerves in my back. And I also have thoracic outlet syndrome. So that has, that's smashed nerves up here where they come out of your neck. Smashed nerves and and blood vessels so you know all these little things that people think are going to help are not going to help that stuff usually a lot of times surgery is the only thing that will help it so um uh it's really annoying like i you know the those cramps just are, can be excruciating and sometimes they'll they'll last quite a while a lot of times you can feel it coming on and then if you kind of just try to shake your leg a little bit and relax it a little bit it, you can you can get it to go away before it goes into a full-blown cramp. That's what happened this morning. I could feel it coming and started. It was enough that it woke me up, but then I couldn't go back to sleep after. And that happens a lot. I don't know. I've heard people say, oh, maybe that, you know, it's hydration. But I know I've tried drinking tons of water before I go to bed, things like that. I still don't know if it makes all that much difference. I just, in my case, I still think it's mainly... Um, just from the nerves, when the nerves, um, you know, are kind of damaged or, you know, compromised, they cause all kinds of issues. So, um, I don't know if that's anything that will ever go away. I am improving from my back fusion surgery over time, but, you know, it, it's a slow process when those nerves are smashed for, what I say, my first surgery was when I was 28 and I'm 55 now. So, uh, What's that, 27 years? You know you're getting old when you can't remember how many years stuff's been, but you know, I'm hoping with time it'll keep improving. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Talk to you next time.